Am I dumb? I need your help. People have been taught in schools, for unfathomable reasons, and against all the readily available evidence, that blood is blue when it's in the body. You are not dumb for believing your teachers. Everyone can believe a dumb thing that they somehow never got brought up or corrected. If you also think the earth is flat or on the back of a turtle. Fun facts for you, wombat poop is square, and dung beetles navigate by the stars while rolling on balls of poop. It's coincidence that they're both poop related, I swear. I had a teacher teach me this exact fact in elementary school. I excitedly went home, told my parents who calmly explained to me that it wasn't true, that teachers were not infallible and that they'd talk to her about it, and that I didn't worry about it. My mom did go talk to her about it, but she never came back to the whole class to tell everyone that she told us something wrong, she was probably embarrassed, or doubled down, and I was too shy to being it up. So, I have to assume a large percentage of that class left third grade believing that. It's not impossible for me to imagine that some of them made it to adulthood. We come into adulthood, and throughout our whole lives, with plenty of knowledge that is ultimately incorrect. What makes us who we are is how ready we are to accept that we were wrong and adapt our new knowledge. I believed it for years. You're not dumb. You're not dumb at all. Sometimes we believe things as a child and we were gullible. Being misinformed doesn't equal being dumb. Our teachers told us a lot of fun facts that were just urban myths and they also got super mad when a student corrected them. I'm just looking at the comments and marveling that so many folks were apparently explicitly told in school that blood is blue. I get thinking that blood is blue because veins look blue-green under the skin but really, you aren't dumb. Urban legends and myths fool all of us at times. Not dumb. If you were dumb you wouldn't be asking if you were, you'd still be confidential asserting that you were correct. I don't know, I got no clue. But I do want to say that I like your opener. My boyfriend, 27, M and I, 26, F. See, most Redditors will do my 26, F boyfriend, 27, M and I, and it's like, I get you want to start labeling your pronouns as soon as they come out of the oven, but let the rest of us get our bearings before you start splitting your infinitives. Yours is much easier on the eyes. Less algebraic gymnastics. I blame Eminem for this one. Blood is red from the hemoglobin inside of the cells. Oxygen also affects how red the blood is. It's always good to be learning. Unfortunately where you learned this info failed you. But always be curious. A teacher once told us, conversationally, that Christians believed men had one less rib than woman because of Adam and Eve right. Teenage me, who never questioned it again, thought men and women did indeed have differing amounts of ribs. It wasn't until a few years ago that my wife told me that that was just a load of tosh. So, if you're an idiot, I am too, a teacher might have told you that, but it's not ever actually taught to us with any credibility. Maybe someone got confused by a diagram, maybe it's just the way veins appeared to people beneath our skin, maybe they worked with or saw a cadaver injected with a red or blue latex or some other material, then they just made up these conclusions. Either way, don't be too hard on yourself. Urban myths and old wives' tales come to prominence for a reason, but as long as you listen and learn you aren't dumb. Dumb would be if you, despite the evidence, would still believe it is blue. This is just not knowing something. We have red blood as it is iron-based. Some things have blue blood that is copper-based. If it was taught to you by a teacher then it's not your fault. Sometimes even teachers get it wrong. You ain't dumb. Now go forth with your newfound knowledge and enjoy life. My wife, who I genuinely believe is pretty smart and capable, disputed me when I mentioned that penguins were birds. I was so surprised that I thought she was joking. My daughter had to back me up on that one for her to believe me. 
I am still gobsmacked. What did she think they were? Dolphins? Seals? Asterisk face palm asterisk. Venous blood or deoxygenated blood, which run in your veins, is dark dark red and when you see it in your wrist or your arm or elsewhere in your body, it appears blue because it's so dark and transmitting through the skin it takes on a blue tinge. You cannot see oxygenated blood because, oxygenated blood is in the arterial system, and arteries tend to be deep in the body for protection. If you cut a vein the blood generally oozes out and immediately turns red instead of dark dark red because the oxygen in the air starts combining with the red blood cells. If you cut an artery it can squirt feet sometimes across the room. I worked with blood for 50 years and totally sympathize with you and how you were misled with a partial truth.